Hi, my name's Alex and today I'll be taking you through this week's question and answer session from us here at Anova Systems. Thanks for watching. Here we have a drawing of a spacer and on the drawing we've put three dimensions and we've called them length, diameter and wall thickness. Now if we go to the model you can see there's been a design table generated for this with various configurations. Now if we look at the design table within our design table we have our configuration names listed here and the values that we're configuring listed here. So if we want to show that within our um, within our drawing sheet the way we can do that is if we go to our drawing select our view go to insert tables design table now when that brings it in it will bring it in um, as an Excel document embedded within the, sh the sheet and it will display exactly the same way as it does when you look at it in the model. So what we do is we just tidy up the design table within the model space. So to do that, um, what we'll do is we'll insert a row up the top and we'll just type in the column names. We'll hide row two away, row three away, sorry, and we'll hide row one. We'll put some borders around our cells. And we'll have bold text up top. We'll also just resize this window here such that it just fits our design table in like so now when we switch back to the drawing and rebuild we should see the design table looking a bit more presentable within our drawing space you'll notice that there is a a dashed line uh, around the table itself uh, you don't need to worry about this because when you print the drawing out that won't be visible thank you for watching